Okay, in this lesson here, what we're going to do is take a look at a series of commands that are very useful when working with actors. So let's go ahead, Logan, and start out by taking a look at the summon command, something useful for simply, well, summoning an actor into the game. Right, you may be using a test map or it's just some map that doesn't have an actor available that you want to test with. Maybe you want to test the actor itself. Maybe you want to use that actor to test something else. So let's say we want to bring in a flat cannon pickup into DM Gale, which of course has no flat cannons. We could use summon. Now, the way summon works is you give it the package that the class resides in and then the class. So it's package.class you want to summon. Okay. So we could say the package we're summoning from is going to be X weapons. And the actual class is going to be flat cannon pickup. Hey, check it out, and a flat there cannon. There you go. It spawns the actor right in front of you, and looking in the same direction you're looking, as you'll see in just a minute when we summon a more directional actor. But of course, it's a flat cannon pickup. We pick it. I mean, well, now we have a flat cannon. Functions like normal, yeah. So, definitely very cool. Now. Say you've, uh, you've been scripting for a while, and now you've got some kind of new actor. Say your own weapon pickup, and you want to bring that into the level. Well, same thing. Summon, and then whatever custom package you have, like in our case, LP rifle dot LP rifle pickup. Hey, check it out. Now we can bring in our own custom stuff for testing purposes. So really cool if, you're, if your job on a mod team is just to build this gun. And you don't want to go through the process of building your own little test mutator that's not going to be used in the end. Right. Just build your gun, summon it in, and test, test it, it out, and, and then leave it, up to, leave it up to the gameplay guy to write the, uh, the mutator. Okay. Of course, you'll prob being the script, you'll probably end up writing the mutator yourself, but that's beside the point. True. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so after summon, let's go ahead and take a look at kill all. Okay, so what if you wanted to remove stuff from the level that you'd brought in? Like, let's say we'd brought in a couple more flat cannon pickups that were starting to clutter the level. Kill all is not only the opposite of summon, but it takes out every class that you specify. Meaning, kill all flat cannon pickup, and, and every every flat cannon in the pickup is destroyed. So, very simple command, but definitely worth knowing. Right, and um, let's see. Okay, so, so the next one. Obviously, since we're working with actors, a very important one would be the edit actor command. Very, very important command. Right. If we want to get to the properties of something that we have currently in the level and take a look at it. Just as if you were inside of Unreal Ed. Right. Except for you don't go into Unreal Ed. You can stay in the game. Now, the way edit actor works is you specify a class, and whatever class you specify, it'll find them one nearest to you and use that and show you its properties. So if we were to do edit actor space class equals xpawn. Well, this brings up the X pawn that we're currently using as our player, which is kind of cool. Um, if I go back into the game for just a moment so I can hit F4 and go into a, a third person behind view, let's see what some properties would be kind of interesting to check. First, something that would be very visibly apparent. Let's take the draw scale 3D of Z to 0.5, and to match that up, let's also take its collision height and take that down by half as well. Now, if we go back in the game, <laughs> check out our guy. So... Still the same in all the other dimensions, just, just kind well, of squashed. squashed. Yeah. So, again, really cool because you have full access to all the properties you would normally set, say, after you've added the actor within Unreal Ed, except that a lot of these, anything that can be set um, at runtime, you could adjust here. So you could very easily go in and adjust anything you want so, to, really. Yeah, basically, you can just make tweaks to your default properties, and then once or, you get these properties set right, well, I mean, they're basically you, properties, but then you could go back over to the class and define them as your default properties. Right, and that would save you a lot of compiling time if you made, say, 20 changes to find the exact value you're, you're happy with. Well, you just change the value over and over again as opposed to having as to recompile. As opposed to recompiling, recompiling, exactly. So, yeah, this is a very, very important command. Edit just actor. one last thing to be careful of. Make sure you close this dialog out before you either destroy that actor or load a different map. If you have that dialog open for an actor that doesn't actually exist, that can cause problems, including possibly a crash. Right. But, and it, it just only makes sense. Okay, so now we're going to take a look at something else that's kind of related, and that's the set command. Now, what set will allow you to do, allow you to do is just grab some parameter in general, one, one property, and set that for all the, um, whatever class you specify for every one of that class in the level. First off, we could do use xpawn as an example again and say set, and then what class are we setting the property for? xpawn, and let's see, what value do we want to sell, set? How about 
health. So if we look in the bottom lower left-hand corner right now, our health is currently at 100. So set exponent health space however much health we want. Let's set that all the way up to 999. Now we're very healthy. Or you can crank that way up, and now we can go jump off of a building or something. <laughs> over and over and over again. Okay, so now we're so super healthy. Very useful. Now, again, to, um, to keep in mind about this command, it's uh, different than edit actor in that it will affect every single class that you specify. Uh, if we were to take maybe set, instead of xpawn, weapon pickup, say set weapon pickups draw scale, scale. So this means all weapons that are lying on the ground, which are derived from weapon pickup, Double them up. Are about to have their draw scale affected. No. As a matter of fact, it's a gun. Their defaults are 0.5, so opening them to 2 is a big change. So, Whoa, look at the size of that gun. Or we could bring it all the way down to 0.2, and it's like, there, that's the little gun you get in the gift shop. <laughs> so, again, if you, uh, when using set, it applies to all actors. And that's something else to point out. Not just all of a certain class, but all of any class underneath it. I used weapon pickup, so anything that extends upon weapon pickup will be affected. Very nice. Actually, very similar to the way kill all works. Kill all has that, and that if you were to do kill all weapon pickup, it would um, remove all, all weapons, basically. 